Howdy folks, Doc here with LastPass Tool, and this is kind of a lightweight comparison video between two tools, an inexpensive one, but does have a name. In this case, this is the Titan 60780. They call this an 11 inch diagonal cutting plier. And then this is the Snap-on 312CF. This is a Vector Edge heavy duty diagonal cutting plier. So they're both very similar in, you know, form, you know, right off the bat, but this one sells for between $8 and $14 on Amazon, and this one retails for $95 off the truck. So there's there's upwards of a an 80 to $85 difference between these two. Now, why I'm choosing some of these different tools to compare with a, you know, a name brand like Snap-on or a high-end brand, I guess, premium brand versus um, another brand, in this case, Titan, is because these are not always your daily use tools. If they are, then, you know, you probably know more about it and you have a good one. But what I'm after is giving some options where you can get essentially the, the, the majority of the benefit from a fairly unique tool uh, without having to make that giant investment uh, with, uh, say, a tool truck tool. Um, because not all the companies make something like this. This is kind of a little bit of a niche tool, and I'm going to go down the road with some others, um, but we'll start here. So basically, the weight, about the same. The length, um, about the same. The snap-on handle does come in different colors and is a little bit cushier. The point of something like this isn't just the extra reach. The point is also that you've got a huge lever arm. And in fact, the snap-on's probably got a little bit more leverage if you actually look at the placement of the pivot in relation to the jaw. Um, and the, the Titan has a little bit bigger jaw. If you compare those, both have an angle to them. Snap-on angle is not quite as steep as the uh, the Titans. It looks like the Snap-on might, I mean, neither one is flush, but it might be just a hair shallower. None of that really is going to come into play. Now, when you are using a tool like this, sometimes it's a two-handed operation. And the reason is there's no uh, mechanical, you know, conversion here, like in some of the other pliers I've, I've worked with. Instead, this spreads apart pretty fast. Most people don't have a hand, you know, that could really control it or grab it. So you might start it out with two, and that's in order to give your, give yourself enough space that you can get something into maybe the, you know, the, the center of that cutting or the bottom of that cutting surface. But once something's in, once you're able to operate it, um, very similar with this one, I can feel a bit more snap. And if it's really low, it tends to grab a hold and hang on to the extra piece. Some people think that's a bug, some a feature, it depends. If you're in the middle of the cutting, snaps it right off. Because of that huge lever arm that we're working with, um, you're not really noticing a whole lot compared to, you know, shorter pliers that you might, um, might stack up against each other. I can see the vector edge is much smoother. Um, however, this is a really stiff plier. I'm working on trying to loosen it up. Um, because I might start it two-handed, I haven't decided. Maybe that is a feature to have it stiff and be able to reach in and then push down to clamp on something. I haven't got enough use out of it to, to decide if I want it loose or um, or tight, but anyway, just very simple, nice, clean cut. So most of the time, you're going to use something shorter, something simpler. But when you want something long like this, you know this is this is the ticket. However, that's a huge investment for a tool that you might not use all that much. Because of the weight of these, you do notice it. They're easy to drop, you know, especially if you're hanging on just to the edge. So there's a chance you could damage the tools. I did notice, if you notice or see here, the snap-on handles go a little bit closer. That is noticeable when you use the tool, but not, not a lot. Um, as far as the finish work, you know, this has kind of that overseas uh, black oxide, probably forged, Maybe not quite the same. You can see lots of tool or lots of marks on it, but they did finish it up. 
fairly well. And it does have, you know, if you, you see the closing there, pretty tight. You can see that little speck of light down at the bottom. That's what you can use to capture the, um, the piece of wire or whatever you cut. It's easy. It does, does cut it off, but it smashes that little bit and that, that allows you to hold on to it. Um, so if you want that, that one didn't cut quite completely. Um, that can be good. You can decide. Um, the snap-on, on the other hand, even when it's wedged way down there, snaps it. That's actually the little plastic piece. Um, it actually has a pretty clean cut. So, your call. Um, this is a... Let me flip that over, show you the snap-on here. Again, very good cutting. Let's line that up. Nice, clean, sharp alignment versus something that you could buy literally. Literally, right, right now on Amazon, these are $8 and change. Uh, these are 95 So you're talking about, you know, approximately 12. 12 of these for one of these. 12 times 8, I think 96, so a buck more. I mean, literally, there it is. So that's an easy comparison. If I was going to get one and I didn't know if I would use it much or I, you know, uh, know that I would never buy a good, higher quality one. I have no trouble recommending this. I mean, for what it is. Sna and or a Titan also claims to have a lifetime warranty. I haven't used it, but I have heard back from viewers that they have and they've, they've gotten service. Simple design. This isn't finished as, you know, beautiful like any piece of art. This is a working tool, but it is expensive. USA made versus India. So anyway, there's one of the comparisons. Uh, if you don't have something like this, but think you might need one, you know, this may be a great starter tool, or it might be the tool that lasts you a lifetime. Real simple design. Um, there it is. And with that, dock out. As soon as it focuses, I'll go out of here. Come on, come on. It's kind of cold down here. Let's get this going. There's my hand. There we go. All right, try that again. With this, or with that, dock out.